Hello everyone, Jeff here for Respawn Studios with a little walkthrough slash review of the Champions Bundle DLC for Halo 4 which came out today. Um, there are two maps that are included which is probably the biggest thing because again it adds more to matchmaking. I don't know why I said again, I haven't mentioned that yet, but <laughs> I guess I'm in the habit of saying again a lot. Uh, <laughs> but it also adds several armor stances, a couple different um, sets of armor. One is called Prefect, one is called Ricochet, and it gives you um, one piece of each of those for each of the different um, sets, like shoulder pads, arms, helmet. So here are the helmets. I'm going to use the uh, Prefect one real quick. There's Ricochet, it's pretty cool. That's uh, also the new game type that's added. Um, the stances, I believe there are seven new stances. Some of them are awesome, some of them are kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to show you the chest. I'm not going to show you every part of the armor, but these are like the two main ones. You see they go pretty well together. There's also uh, weapon skins that have been added. There's also... Um, things you can put on your classes. I think two under tactical and one under support. I'm going to show you those. Unfortunately, I'm, I didn't remember to show the weapon skins. All right, but here I'm going to scroll down. We have resistor. You see um, you retain full mobility while um, being shot. All right, now down here. We have Survivor and Recharge. Recharge allows your shields to go up faster, and Survivor, um, I think you also have to use this in conjunction with um, the Engineer class, but when a vehicle blows up, like if someone jacks you and they plant a grenade, and the vehicle blows up, you don't die. You're like ejected, and you're fine. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. All right, now I'm going to show you the stances. All right, so there's Menace. It's all right. Grandstand, pretty cool. Seasoned, eh. Confidence, pretty funny. All right, Lookout's pretty badass. I like Drawn. That's what I'm using. <laughs> Loyalty and Flank are bizarre. Look how far you're leaning back with uh, Loyalty, and then Flank looks like a creeper, but <laughs> yeah. So some of them, eh. But yeah, some of them are awesome, so it's wow. worth it. Um. And I don't know if I've already mentioned this, I've already forgotten, but uh, <laughs> the bundle itself is 800 points, but you don't have to get the bundle. You could just get the maps, which I think, uh, the maps and game type, which I think is 480 points. And then you could get like skin or stance packs for 240. I think there might even be some um, individuals for 80 points. I didn't really look at all of the options, but I know that there's at least the 240 and 480 options if you don't want to get everything. So say you're just interested in the maps or say you're just interested in the stances um, and skins, things like that. Alright, so this is one of the two new maps. Um, this was designed to use the new game type Ricochet, which unfortunately I wasn't able to show you. I don't have anyone else on, so I don't think it was really worth showing just one person trying to do it because it's a competitive thing, uh, team-based. Alright, but this is the map Vertigo, and I'm going to give you a little walkthrough here. It's this, I'm not exactly sure what it is. <laughs> uh, it's this base that seems to be like harnessing power. Like in the background, we have these um, sort of lightning rod towers. You see there's a big storm going on. Pretty awesome lightning and sky effects out there. It's hallway with broken glass. Nice. <laughs> And as for weapons, I'm not sure if these are the typical spawns, but you saw I got rockets bottom middle, there's shotgun on one side, sword on the other. But I'm in Infinity Rumble, I'm not sure if it changes for different game types, I haven't fully tested that yet. Alright, but here's a pretty cool jump. I'm not trying to say I like pioneered this jump, I'm sure everyone doing walkthrough videos found that jump, but <laughs> I'm just pointing out it's pretty cool. Here's another little jump, just from there to there. Alright, and you can go all the way up to the top here. And now, um, if you noticed on that central base, there's that sort of red light. And I noticed that, so I zoom in and start shooting it. And after a few shots, it sets off like electric storm. 
on the top there. Now, I assume that just takes away players' shields. I'm, I wouldn't imagine it kills them, but <laughs> that seems to be pretty powerful. Alright, so now I'm going to switch over, show you the other map, the remake of the fan favorite Pit from Halo 3, and it's aptly named Pitfall. <laughs> um, so rockets are in top hall, and these callouts might not really help you because this is like competitive stuff, but <laughs> that's first BR. Uh, Alright, shotgun, they took the um, explosive barrels out of there. I like having the explosive barrels in there because generally people like camp there with the shotgun or it used to be the mauler. So just throwing a nade in there and having them blow up was pretty satisfying. Snipers um, in Halo 3 spawn down at the bottom of the towers. But again, I'm not sure if just in Infinity Rumble it's different, but you see the snipers up top of the tower. You can still look through these cracks, which is cool. The turrets are still on top of the bases for people that enjoyed that. Alright, now going up into sword base, you could still nade the windows there, which is cool. They've added this drop down, which never existed before, but I like it. And they made here, where it used to just be a solid wall, there's a little space back here, and now you could lift up into the middle of sword base, so you don't have to come in from the sides. So I also enjoy that. You could throw some nades into the lift, potentially stick camping sword guy, I like that. <laughs> Alright, now I'm coming up into training, which is so called because of those... Um, right there the elites with like targets on them alright I'm trying to jump up onto a piece right there because there used to be ledges you could sit on in Halo 3 but they are not in Halo 4 they might be forged in if um, like it makes it into competitive matchmaking it might be in that now the other shotgun base as you see it's a symmetrical map here's the flag base They've added this as a jump up. Um, you could do that jump up in Halo 3, but there was no box. You could kind of jump into the corner and jump again. Um, outside of the map, again, is awesome, as most maps in Halo 4 are outside. You see there's a base that, with turret shooting at something, and there's a crashed pelican right there, up into the wall. All right, and that's pretty much going to wrap it up. So I really hope you have enjoyed this little walkthrough slash review. Um, I definitely recommend this for any fan of Halo. Um, there's, again, only two maps, so 800 points might not be for you if you're just going for the map, so you might want to get the smaller portion, or vice versa. If you're not into the maps, you just want to pimp out your character for the standard stuff, you could do that. Um, so you have those options, which I also like, but together for 800 points, it's a nice deal. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more videos soon.